strong music scene. Um, I mean, there's so many good bands that come out of Montreal that continuously keep coming out, so it's good for Montreal to get that kind of exposure on a worldwide level. You know? There's like noise bands, there's drone bands, there's hardcore bands, there's post-punk bands. Montreal has a great reputation, has a fantastic music scene, and this is one of the festivals that allows us to showcase them. I think Montreal is a, a really uh, important plaque tournant in terms of uh, the music business in, on a global scale. I think we have really good artists here. Oh, the city's gorgeous. I mean, Montreal is one of the greatest cities in North America, if not the world. But I, I really love Montreal. It's an awesome, awesome place. Last time we had a, like, we were like underdogs, we had everything to lose, and this time it was kind of like we were being a bit showcased at the end of the night, so it was more of just like, people knew the songs a little bit. So we were playing small shows around Montreal, and then that was the one thing that got us some international exposure. It was really our breakthrough, actually. And it's just nice to, you know, be able to perform in front of these kind of people from, you know, different countries and that do all different things around the world. And it's nice to be able to showcase what you do for them. A lot of people that we ended up meeting on our tours said that they'd seen us initially at that Amber Montreal show. It's outlived the, the fad, and it's it's become a mainstay, which is fantastic. I will say I've been treated better at this festival than any other festival I've ever been to. I really, I really feel fantastic about the way that the staff here has been. Um, the delegates are really, really, they come from a really broad uh, swath of different types of, of work. Um, and everyone's really nice. Plus the bands kick ass. I'm proud because I see people's faces and I just getting everybody's feedback right right off, you know, on the spot and it's not even over. It's all like, man, this has been the best festival I've ever been to and this is the best uh, conference experience and these words mean a lot. In general, the festival's been doing so well. Last night, I had a blast, and I'm, uh, I'm just so happy to see it go the way it's going. I mean, it's, it's going great. the weekend edition this year that we're actually letting delegates choose where they want to go. There's a couple of shows happening at the same time. And uh, seeing them last night uh, at every show going in and out was just great. And the vibe was just awesome. The weekend thing, you really felt the festival, you felt the party. It feels like a more like a family atmosphere here. So yeah, it's just it's great vibes. Good vibes, huh? <laughs> yeah, all around great vibes. <laughs> great vibes. It was awesome. It was awesome. I really liked it a lot. And we're all here for the music, and the music is, is really top notch. You know, hardly ever a dud. Since we played them for Montreal, we have uh, gotten quite bigger. <laughs> we like it. We tried poutine. <laughs> and we regretted it. <laughs> yeah. Un petit mot pour M pour Montréal. Une bonne continuation en espérant que ça soit plus gros chaque année. M for Montreal is awesome. If you haven't been, you should go. And if you have been, you should go again. La, 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 la.
seven-year cycle is going to be, well, I, know, I, I see a big future for him.